sell, you should scan products and list them and send them in. And we found that um, a lot of people w were jumping straight in with bundles. They just started creating listings or they started creating bundles. And they were being really successful with it. And these were people who were completely new, who had never sold on Amazon before. And they jumped in creating their own listings. And some of them found it less, uh, they, they found it a really positive experience to create their own listings. And so from that, we realized that we were doing something with marketing and that it was really all about marketing, how you use keywords, um, how you jumped on existing trends um, and how you delivered that to a target audience. And so we got excited about the whole concept of marketing with Amazon. And I think all the things that are popular right now, like the coloring books, um, the T-shirts, all these things that are right now, um, it all comes down to marketing. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, if you, you, I mean, you found the secret sauce with social media. And I mean, it's, it's mind blowing after you get done reading and you know, you're following your group with the, the treasure hunting and everything. And I mean, it's the support that gets the word out there. I mean, and th another th thing with your, um, the color book, it kind of gives you an idea into um, blue sky. Right. And it's like, you're taking all these tools and saying, this is what you got to do and it's it's working and that's kudos right there because there's there's some things that don't work and you have you've got the secret sauce and you have found it out you know it's just encouraging people to put the pieces together it's like a, a jigsaw i mean you if, if you think about it what what is amazing now is we can do things that we just couldn't do even five or ten years ago the concept of fba is amazing in itself that you can send all these products to amazon's warehouse and they will handle the shipping and the customer service and they will do all that for you and the fact that one person can sell so much and i know you sell a lot on fba dean and the fact that one person can do all of that with fba is that i mean that's an incredible technology in itself and then when you start putting the pieces together, you, you, you take it back a step. Okay, maybe we can create the products. Maybe we can come up with our own products that are unique. Um, once you start kind of going down that road, you, you realize that there's all these US manufacturers, there's all these opportunities like Create Space. I mean, Create Space is just incredible that you can put together a book, a coloring book. Um, I mean, the, the coloring book thing at the moment is astronomical it's it's huge you walk into barnes and noble or even walmart and you just see rows and rows of coloring books yeah it's such a big thing and, and we saw that and we were like well it's let's see how we can get people to make their own coloring books um and, yeah. yeah and you just you start putting those things together but the most important thing i mean you you, you put the you, you create the product you put it on a platform and you have it shipping and then you market it. And that's like the key to it is, is just figuring out how to reach your target audience and sell it to them. And once you put all those things together, that's like the magic formula, whatever it is you're making. And I feel like now for the first time, we really have this opportunity to put all those pieces together. No, um, you keep talking about Merck, was it Merck? Merck by Amazon. <clears throat> yeah, I can talk about Merch. Merch. Do you yeah. I mean, do you see that exploding like Amazon's you know create space and everything? I I have some thoughts about merch. I think it's really interesting what they're doing with merch. Um, so merch is it, I think it came out two weeks ago. It's really really new, um, and it's a service by Amazon that allows you to design T-shirts and put them up on the Amazon platform, which is pretty exciting. If you've ever used create create space and merch are very, very similar. Create Space allows you to upload a book, a digital book to Amazon. You can literally publish a book overnight. They print it on demand and ship it out to your customers. Merch works in the same way, only with t-shirts. So you design a t-shirt or you get someone on Fiverr. So, I mean, even if you have no artistic skills, and this is something we've said with the coloring books, even if you cannot draw, if you have no artistic skills, if you've never used Photoshop, you can still put together a coloring book. We, we look at all the different ways you can do it, whether you're using public domain art. There's, I mean, there, there is tons of oh, art yeah. in the public domain. You, you can go to like the Department of Defense 
and get pictures of like cool tanks and airplanes and things like that um, and put together a military coloring book like that. You can do it overnight. Um, there's so much public domain art available. There's, I mean, you can find art in the weirdest places. I go to estate sales and find old recipe books that people have put together or all these things. You can put those into a book and publish it on Create Space. Similarly, you can put them on a t-shirt and sell it on Merge. The only issue I've seen with Merge, and here's, I, I, I'm kind of on the fence with Merge because I know a little bit about t-shirts. There's Teespring, th th there's a lot of other um, t-shirt design websites out there. There's Teespring, there's TeePublic, I think there's Sunfrog. Um, there's quite a lot of t-shirt manufacturers. Mm -hmm. Selling t-shirts is awesome. There's potential there. But the challenge isn't in making the t-shirts or uploading the t-shirts. That's easy. Coming up with ideas is easy. You can go on Reddit, you can go on BuzzFeed, you can go on all these places. You can go on Imager. There's so many places to find ideas for t-shirts. Um, or you can just use something you know about, something that's a trend for you. Like if you're in a sports team, if you're a ballet dancer, if you're a footballer, whatever you're into, whether you love dogs, whether you love cats, well, like if, if you have a weird niche or a political persuasion or a, like a, a strong belief, you can right. probably make a shirt that someone will want. But the difficulty with Amazon, with both Create Space and Merch, is that it's very hard to reach people. You can't put keywords in. You can't, um, you can't make it very searchable because Amazon handles the listing. Whereas with FBA, and this is why I love like doing bundles and doing, um, doing the white label stuff, because with FBA, you have so much power over your listing and control over your listing. You can create keywords, um, put your own keywords in. You can target very specific groups of people, um, and it becomes very exciting. With Merch and Create Space, you can't do that organically within Amazon. You have to do your marketing off Amazon. It, you, you're not going to get – and I, I'm seeing a lot of people creating Merch T-shirts, which is awesome. I love that people are putting these T-shirts out there on Merch. What I'm not seeing is big sales numbers yet. I'm not seeing high sales ranks. Um, I, I think people are mostly selling to their friends and their family. Right. I don't see these taking off yet. And the reason why is because I think you need to go outside of Amazon with the marketing. You need to use Facebook ads. You need to use YouTube or Periscope. And I mean, you, you know all about the social media. Right. I think you start needing to build your own audience to sell things to. And I mean, I, I, I'm working on, um, I, I've got another group I've been building that's not related to Amazon at all. It's kind of a niche um, audience for an interest. And I, I've grown that Facebook group. And it's like, if you grow this Facebook page of people and you have 10,000 people who love your Facebook page, it becomes very easy to deliver adverts oh, to yeah. those people. And if you can build your audience, somewhere else like Facebook or YouTube or wherever, you can then send those people to your T-shirt. So I, I don't know if you make, I, we've got a lady in treasure hunting and she's got a gorgeous Facebook page about Dobermans. She has a Doberman. She loves a Doberman. Her Facebook page is pictures of Doberman. I think she has 14,000 followers. Oh, and wow. She has an amazing following on her Doberman page. And the amazing thing is she's now in this position where she can make a T-shirt about Dobermans, put it on Amazon with merch, and just send her audience to it. She can post it on her page. She can make boosted adverts on Facebook and send her audiences to her Doberman T-shirt. And she will probably, out of 13,000 people who love Dobermans, I'm guessing maybe 1,000 might buy that T-shirt. That's how you market with merch. Exactly. And that's what I'm not seeing at the moment. I'm. I'm seeing people say, well, I've uploaded a T-shirt or I've uploaded a book um, and they're not they're not doing the marketing outside of Amazon. Now, with FBA, with bundles, with um, created listings, you can market from within Amazon. It's very organic. You can use pay-per-click as well. Mm -hmm. But with T-shirts, create space, merch, you kind of need to be reaching outside of Amazon. Wow. Sorry, was I like, Rah! I don't care. No, it's perfect. No, I mean, that's. You know, we, we wanted to talk about coloring books, but with you, you just don't get one thing. You get, <laughs> Sorry about that. You get bundles. You get, I mean, there's so much value that you, you and Isaac are offering to us.
that is without a doubt, you know, we're like I, like I said, I'm I'm very thankful that you came on because there's always bad stuff out there, but you get to see the, who's behind the actual good. And, Yay, and I appreciate y'all, y'all got to figure it out. That. So I mean, Mike, you got any questions? Yeah, let me see. Um, <laughs> we're on my paper here. So, as far as uh, when, when someone's taking your coloring book course, do you actually teach them how to do the marketing to get people to your specific coloring book that you created? Yes, I do. Yeah, we've um, the, the, the coloring book course has it, it's it's divided into three sections. Um, so the first section is researching trends and getting ideas. Um, and we're actually we're using our own software for some of that. We've got uh, Isaac and I have been working on some software called Blue Sky Suite. And one of the features of that software is actually that it finds keywords for you. So, for example, if you put in Halloween, it's going to search a variety of marketplaces and search engines and come back and tell you what are the most searched terms that people are looking for, focusing on marketplaces for Halloween. So it will come back and say things like Halloween pumpkin, Halloween T-shirts, Halloween Charlie Brown, Halloween ashtray. And it will give you all these ideas for products and, and things that people are looking for. And we did the same thing with coloring books. We ran coloring books through Blue Sky Suite. And we found um, people were searching for coloring books we'd never even thought of, things like quilts and stained glass windows in churches. And all these ideas like Hawaii, Las Vegas, um, skyscrapers, people were looking for all these different themes for coloring books. And we said, well, is there like a, a quilt coloring book? Is there a stained glass window coloring book? Is there a Las Vegas coloring book? So the very first part of it, we started identifying niches and sharing those. So I, I, in, in the course, I, I share that list of um, niches for coloring books. And then the second part of the course is all about um, like actually creating your coloring book. Um, it's, it's how to draw your coloring book and, and put together the pictures or how to use Photoshop to convert your photos into uh, colorable pictures. And then the third part is in publishing your book. Um, I don't go deep into Facebook in that course. Um, I've, I've actually, Isaac and I, have, uh, we, we've just um, put out a Christmas course that we call Blue Sky White Label, and it filled up really quick. But that was kind of an experiment for us. And within that, we have um, a very solid section on Facebook and social media marketing using Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter. Um, all those things. And I'm growing that out into a full course on social. I'm sorry, I just got my coffee. Yay, coffee. Coffee. Um, I'm growing that out into a full social media course. So at the moment, I'm willing to share it. Um, I, I don't, there's not a solid video in the coloring book course on, on Facebook advertising and um, social media marketing. But within the Facebook group, People have been sharing their social media strategies, and it's amazing. So many people have made YouTube adverts for their coloring books. We've had several people do that. Um, one guy I had on my show, on my Zoom, um, Jordan, he, so he found out that, you know the movie Night of the Living Dead? Yeah. He, he found out that movie screwed up on its legalities and it never became copyright. It oh, entered wow. the public domain. So he made a coloring book based off Night of the Living Dead. And it's just, it's an amazing, I wish, oh, it's up there. Isaac, can you pass me his book? It's, sorry, he's, he's just passing me his book. Um, <laughs> but he made this amazing coloring book. Isaac's just throwing it to me. <laughs> there we go. This is what he made with Create Space. How just amazing is this? And it has like all the pictures of uh, things that happened in the book. He got his, I think he got his friend to draw these. Um, it's like someone who's been stabbed um, and all these cool images in here. And he sold, like, he sold well over 100 copies wow. um, within a couple of weeks with this. It was just such a fun thing he did. Um, and it, it ranked, I think uh, the last time I talked to him, it was ranked 10,000 in books on Amazon, which is awesome. I mean, for a home published book to rank at 10,000 was just amazing. And Let me ask you, I've never I've never dealt with create space and everything. It's that pretty book, easy. That book that you just touched. 
Mm-hmm. Would you say it feels just like the book that if you went to Barnes and Noble? I yes. Mean, it's yeah. same quality and everything. Yeah, there's there's a couple. Um, this one, he, I mean, he did a really good job with this. This this it one is awesome. really. It, I mean, it looks. You, you can see how good this looks. Um, sometimes with Create Space books, the, I, I've noticed the back covers, especially if you put notes on the back covers. Sometimes they look a little bit wonky. You can tell it was kind of like self-published. Right. Um, but I think a lot. What's nice with Create Space is that it's very. Um, it's it's a very cheap way of experimenting, and this is something that's good about merch as well. It's it's a really cheap way of experimenting because it doesn't cost you anything to put a book up on merch or on uh, on Create Space or to put a T-shirt up on merch, um, and to get the proof copy, the only thing you have to pay out for is the proof copy of your book, which is I think two dollars ten cents. So that's all you have to pay with with uh, Create Space. And then once you've got your coloring book and you've looked at it and you've said, yeah, this is good to go, um, then it's like, that's, that's, that's it. You're done. You don't ever have to pay anything else out. You just wait for people to buy your coloring book. So even if you only make sort of a dollar per coloring book and it sells one a week, that's still $52 a year without you ever doing anything else. No. Um, and merch is the same way. I mean, the fees are very, very high on merch. And actually, Chris asked a question. He said, um, can we screen our own shirts and send them into FBA? Yes. And I think that that's actually a better long term uh, plan than merch, because with merch, um, if you if you send in a T-shirt, if, if you send a T-shirt designed to merch and they uh, put it on Amazon, they will take if you list it at nine ninety nine, you will only make 50 cents max from that t-shirt wow. you have to list a t-shirt as at least fifteen dollars on merch to really make any significant money on it um which can be a hard sell people don't necessarily want to spend more than fifteen dollars on a shirt um whereas if you send in as your own t-shirts that have been screened you're making more of an investment and taking more of a risk on the initial cost and the inventory but you will make more money back from them so i actually i think that screening your own shirts and sending them in is probably a better long-term plan than merch um but merch is great for prototyping things or trying them out um it's it's a risk-free platform well, that's pretty much that's pretty much just like fba then right all you're doing is filling it you're just throwing like uh your stuff in the warehouse well well yeah but with with merch and create space there's no physical product you never touch any product so you upload a digital file okay. and then amazon print it out they either print the book or the t-shirt as people buy them that's awesome uh Catherine, are you going to be you're going to be asd this year right mm-hmm. are you going to be doing any classes like last year or doing anything yeah, we will. We've um, we, we've got a big room at ASD, and they 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 kind of host us at the conference, um, and they just want us to tell people all about uh, white label, about Amazon, about selling on FBA, um, and that's kind of what they want from us. So last in in August, we ran several paid classes. Um, Isaac's like a guru on Shopify, and Shopify is a platform for selling. Um, for creating your own web store so and what's really nice is that shopify and amazon interact so if you set up a shopify store it can actually um place orders for you from fba so you can sell products like if i'm selling my mug i can list my mug on my own website and on amazon um and the two will connect together and the people who place orders on my own website will have them shipped out from amazon's warehouse Wow, which that's is pretty cool. Mind-blowing. So Isaac's like an expert in Shopify. I kind of do marketing and FBA. And between us, we just, it sounds like, and between us, we fight crime. Um, yeah. <laughs> but between us, that's that's what we're, we're, we're going to be covering. So we're going to be doing FBA, Shopify, marketing, white label, all the things. And hopefully running as many free classes as we can fit into four days. That's awesome. For somebody that's never been to ASD, do you think it's worth to going out there? Yes. Oh my gosh. I think ASD is amazing. I think it is really, really awesome. 
Um, it's so ASD. I mean, you know all about ASD. It's a big wholesale trade show in Las Vegas. And there's just everything. There's a whole big section for sourcing overseas. So if private label is your thing, um, you can go to the source direct section and talk to people from China or India or wherever. Um, plus there's like, there's a whole liquidations area. So if that's your thing, you can get all these sort of dollar store products or liquidated products. People go there and buy up booths. Um, I, I saw complete newbies. We, we had some lovely people in our group who it was their first time at a trade show, first time at ASD. They went to ASD and bought booths, like whole booths full of product on the last day. Um, I've just, I've seen so many amazing things happen with the ASD. Plus you get to come and have meetups and go to free classes. And it's just a whole bunch of things going on at ASD. And if you register now, they've got a giveaway of $500. They've got a prize of $500. So it's worth registering now and you might have a chance at the five hundred dollars. If if somebody if somebody does register for it, how do they find out information about y'all's classes? Um, okay, if they oh whoops, if they go to asdonline.com, that's where you can register. We haven't got anything up yet about our classes. We're still figuring out um, what exactly we want to do and what the schedule will be, what the timetable will be. Um, but it will be on ASD's website and. I'll be posting it probably on blueskysuite.com. That's probably okay. where I'll put it. But if nice. they're in my groups, I'm, I'll, I probably won't shut up. About Everybody's it. in your group. Everybody's in your groups. <laughs> Go ahead, Mike. Oh, I'm just plugging in. I'm running out of power, and I don't want to do that. I think Mike's on mute. There's, there's a few questions down the side. Do you want me to answer? Yeah, no, it's mm -hmm. muted. yeah. Chris was asking, can you sync your listings with the Shopify or do you have to individually add products to your Shopify? Um, I think, oh, that's a good question. That's, that's a question that Isaac should answer. Um, I think you have to individually add, you know, I don't know. I don't want to answer that question because that's an Isaac question. Safe, safe answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like, oh, I don't know off the top of my head, but Isaac would know that. Um, Next and week we a, have Isaac on the show. <laughs> he, he, he'll talk to you. He'll, he'll talk to you about Shopify until you're like, oh. He does it to me all the time. No, that's awesome, though. That's awesome. But, I mean, you know, we're um, me, Mike, Derek, and Steven, we started a small group. And it's called Source and Society. It's it's a totally free group. We're just trying to, you know, get the get an honest word out there. So that was the biggest thing. We wanted to bring you on and show our members that there are actually good people out there. So I mean that That's that so was a cool. great thing. And this, you know, we, we're only doing little 30 minute shows because we know that you're at, you know, the eve of Halloween. So I mean, are you gonna dress up anything for Halloween or I am. I am. I'm hoping my costume arrives tomorrow. I left it a little bit late, so I'm I'm hoping it Question, will arrive. You ordered your costume off of Amazon. I did. I did that? actually. <laughs> Not only do you feed the beast, you get it from the beast. Oh, I always buy from the beast. Exactly. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, but anyway, everybody, you know, reach out. But let's see, you got treasure hunting, the uh, Facebook group. You have Kat. Am I saying is it Catherine or Catherine? It's Catherine. You're you're right. It's just Catherine. I'm from South. I'm from South Carolina, I'm, so I'm mumble. You know. Okay, I'm I'm posting the links yeah. there. There's Catherine Treasure, and then we've got Blue Sky. Oh my gosh, it's hard typing. Um, <laughs> Catherine Sky. So I I posted the two main groups in the side. There's Catherine Treasure, which is our reseller group. Um, so that's whether you're into thrifting or retail arbitrage uh and then there's the blue sky group which is if you're into white label private label creating your own products um pretty much anything from t-shirts and coloring books through to um making your own product go on shark tank it's it's like the whole shebang there um but those are our two main groups um and then if if you're interested in bundles or coloring books or a white label we can kind of point you in the right direction from there or if you're into Shopify, Isaac's got his own group as well, where he's very happy to talk about anything 
technical, graphical, um, e-commerce, Shopify, WooCommerce, any of those things he can talk about. What's his group called? Uh, it's called Viewmasters. I think it's Facebook, Calm, Groups. I think it's View Isaac. It might be Isaac View, but I think it's View Isaac. But it's Vision. Oh, how is it? Visual. It, you know, it stands for something. Visual Image E-Commerce Web. That's that's what it is. So it's View Masters. Yeah. When, when y'all two came together, it was just the Internet exploded. Just, so y'all did all <laughs> that. That's awesome. Well, Catherine, I, I appreciate you taking the time to at least come well, out and talk about it. Thank you for having it. me, Dane. And if y'all have any questions, look at the groups. I would highly, highly recommend looking at this adult coloring thing because it's going to be here for a while. And it's it's a big thing. It's a big oh. thing. And I have dumped thousands of dollars in a private label and the money I could have saved just by coming and doing this is, is, is way beyond that. So but anyway. That's it. Mike, you have any more thing? What's the cost of the of that course? Uh, the coloring book course is forty nine ninety nine, but I think if you use the code Treasure Hunter, it's thirty nine ninety nine. So we can get you in for just thirty nine ninety nine. That's awesome. Sweet. You, you, you'll make that up in no time. In no time. Yeah, we want to, we wanted to make it affordable. It's it's like an introductory level course, so we don't go deep on the marketing. We it, we talk about marketing in the Facebook group, but we don't go super deep in with the marketing. Um, but next year, my plan is to hit social media very very hard. How to market with social media, with Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, Periscope, all of those things. How to really use those to do exciting, awesome things. So that's that's on the that's 2016, huh? That's that's the plan. Bring it all together. The white, we, I mean, we, we've we've just um, we're into the last week of our white label course, and it's we, we had a hundred people just sign up like that. It was we filled it up in a week, and it was just it's been an amazing course. People are making all sorts of things: wrapping paper for Christmas presents, um, like candy, coffee. Um, I'm working on another private label coffee. Like we, we're just doing so many things with that, and people done so well with that that my plan is to evolve it all next year and just bring it all together product creation shopify amazon social media and put it all together next year and i think we can do it i think people are going to have an amazing 2016 i think there is so much scope for everyone to jump on board with this without spending huge amounts of money without going to china um and just so they can all be selling an individual product that you feel proud of yeah. that's yours that no one else is competing with you on and that you feel good about. No, without a doubt. Then you get the feeling of uh, saying you're a published author then, right? That's yeah, it's it's a pretty cool thing. You can say, hey, I made an I'm I'm an author. I've got a book on Amazon. It's sold. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well Catherine, I really do appreciate it again. I hate to be repetitive, but thank you so much. For Thank you, on. Dean, and good luck with the new group. I'm excited for you guys. I love where your heart's at with this. I love that it's a positive, it's a white hat, it's a good group, um, yeah. and it's it's always refreshing to see that, and I know you're a great guy to steer it, Dean. Hey, we appreciate it. I'll keep bringing the sun up if you'll keep taking Nice to time. meet you, Mike. I, I always see you on Periscope. It's nice to talk to you and actually meet you. Yeah, you too. If, if you're not on Periscope and if you're just getting on, you've got to watch Catherine. I mean, she, I've never had a bad show that I've watched of hers that I didn't leave not knowing nothing. I always learned something. So that's awesome. Catherine, I appreciate it. We'll talk to you. And if I see y'all out in ASD, let me buy you an Isaac dinner because I'd love to you know, hang out with y'all more. Oh, well, yeah, we'll hang out, Dean. It'll be fun. I look forward to seeing you. That's awesome. All right, everybody. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a wonderful Happy Halloween. Night, Stay safe and everything. All right, y'all. Bye.